Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jake's RC stuff video. Now I understand that last week I said that what I was going to do after the S1100 uh, build was finished is that I would that this video would be a video on how the maiden went because it has indeed flown and had flown back then. Um, basically my parents are going to be away um, next week so I thought that during that week I can record lots of on the desk videos. Um, and what I would do for now is actually um, do uh, another podcasty radio episode, unfortunately, for some uh, complain about that, but it's, it's just information. Um, and because of some of the stuff we've been seeing on the Zoe HD um, Facebook page, excuse me, um, I thought I would discuss what happened to the mini talent. Now, with all of these videos, um, especially the What Happened To series, um, I always want to encourage people to say, of all, you know, if you have a look at the planes that I've done, um, say, you know, what happened to the insert plane here? And if I haven't done a what happened to, or at least I haven't done it in a while, because some things may have changed since it was last done, then I can do one of these videos on it. Um, they won't always be the podcasty ones, some of them will be on the bench stuff, uh, depending on what, what's happened. Um, but today's going to be um another radio y podcasty one don't know what'll be in the background could be black screen could be a picture of um the new mini talon not mini talon nano talon we presume or will they call it mini talon because i don't really, i don't really know what they're going to call it because they can't call it the talon so for those who don't know xuav completely different company to zo hd or z o h d however you want to pronounce them um made the talon which i believe was originally an army plane um, or, or uh, that or the Mini was. Then they have the Mini Talon, which is quite possibly the best FPV plane out at the moment. Um, I, I love the Mini Talon, uh, especially on that Sunny Sky motor that uh, Matthew Wogborn recommends. Um, 2212, 1250 KV. Um, really great. Um, a friend of mine actually had a, a Mini Talon with a very low KV motor and a massive prop to try and make it really efficient. And I flew mine and I happened to have a spare in the cupboard and he was having weird speed controller issues, I think, because of amps and things. And he says, you know, we just asked what motor to use. I says, well, I actually have a spare at home. They were £15 or maybe just slightly over on Banggood at the time. And I was like, I'll bring it up and 15 for it. Yeah, and we were fine. We did that. And he's very, very happy with, with the setup. Um, and then, so that's the Talon and the Mini Talon from XUAV. And then... Afterwards, Zo HD came out with the Mini Talon. Uh, sorry, the Nano, Nano, Nano Talon, which is a very small one, which is very weird. So it ran off of a motor very similar to what you'd have on a Mini Quad, slightly smaller actually. Um, 3S, um, 3 or 4S, I ran on mine on 4. Um, and it had all the servos in the fuselage. So. It actually, the original ones came with three servos, um, two for the V-tail and one for the ailerons. The sort of second batch got four, um, which is the one that I had. Um, so you had two for the ailerons and one for each side of the V-tail. But they weren't actually in the wings and directly connected. Um, in fact, actually, let me just bring up the Nano Talon up on Banggood. Because the reason I've decided to do this video now, to tell you what's happened to mine, um, is because, um, similar to how they made the Dart and they made the Dart XL, ZoHD have now released something that looks a lot like a Talon. Whether they're going to call it a Talon or not, I don't know. It makes sense to call it a Talon. But, what are they going to call it? Because it looks like it's not quite as big as Mini Talon. Are they just going to call it a Talon XL because that's because it's along the same lines and probably uses a lot of the same equipment as what's in the Dart XL? But the trouble is, is that smaller than even the Mini Dart? Uh, sorry, the Mini XL. Sorry, the Mini Talon and the regular Talon. But the Zo the, the Dart. Um, sorry, Talon XL could be like smaller than the other two Talons. Very weird situation. I wish XUAV could have seen the popularity of the Nano Talon. And made their own. Um, it's, it's a shame, really. Um, but in terms of what happened to mine, <sighs> so mine literally, all I did was I, I chucked a camera and a um, video transmitter in it and a 
four channel these UHF receiver and fluid. Um, so I actually took out the stabilizer in it, which some people might say was a bad idea. Some might say it's a good idea. Um, and I bought it as plug and play. So all the servos were in already. And as I say, mine was the one that had two separate aileron servos. But they're all linked through sort of these plastic control rods. I don't know if I got a dodgy kit or something like that. But mine always seemed to be out of trim. I don't know why. I would double check nothing was moving. I even made sure that there was Loctite and like tightened up on the servo arms to make sure that like the, the, the control rod wasn't slipping in the swivel or anything like that. And what 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 it just was awful. And eventually at one point it sort of went into loops on its own. Um I wasn't losing signal um because every other plane was right and I've actually used that receiver now in another one in another plane and it just went in and broke. Um I don't I actually think that it mostly popped apart. I don't. I can't. Like, other than it being a bit squidged on the fuselage, I don't think there's actually anything broken. I always just take it apart and put it back in its box, and that's where it stayed since the accident. Um, and to be honest with you, mm, I've always said that if I do repair it, I would put the servos in the tail and in the wing. I don't care how ugly it looks, I'm just going to do direct control rods. But to be honest with you, the four channel receiver in there was a nightmare. <laughs> I would prefer to put a proper flight controller in it now I've flown it. And to be honest with you, I think that plane's probably the next time I see it is going to get taken out of the box and stepped on viciously um, and taken all the stuff out of it that hasn't already flown out of it. Apologies for knocking the microphone. So, yeah, that plane, I will, personally, for me, I know lots of people like it, but for me personally, I wouldn't buy another one. Just the control rod system was shite. I don't know if it was just I had a bad one or what but there was the, the the amount of flex in the ailerons was ridiculous like they like if you held the servo still with it unplugged obviously or even if it was just powered up and you tried to move the aileron like it was ridiculous as i say i don't know if i got a bad one or a good one i don't know um but pe people seem to like it people seem to be you know the the, the, the usual future armor meme of uh i'm gonna turn the volume off on that for a second um you know, the future meme of uh, just give me me money type of thing. Um, I was actually showing the Dart Excel in the Talon, whatever this is going to be, video. Um, on their Facebook page, which I might edit in, maybe. I don't quite know. Uh, but in terms of um, what I'm going to do, as I say, that mini Talon, that nano Talon, sorry, is probably going to get scrapped. Um, so HDF, you might what I'm going to do is because of the disappointment that was the Dart XL for a lot of people and I still have one on the shelf ready to get built I'm probably going to wait for the reviews if people say that it's good then I'll probably get one um, and run I have in it but if um, it has a lot of the same issues as the Dart XL then I won't it says what I'm going to do with the Dart XL. Um, I'm probably going to still build it, and it's just going to be like a long-range cruising machine. But it's by no means a replacement for the Mini Drac, which what could I possibly be touching at the moment? Um, but anyway, um, so yes, this is just sort of a quick talk about what happened to my Nano Talon. Um, hopefully, although I cocked it up a lot, you've got the rough history of the talons between the two different companies, which I'm surprised there's been some sort of lawsuit or something about. Um, but to be fair, the, 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 mini, ta the mini talon is more of a cruising machine. It just uses a l really low amount of amps. Um, it comes out on March the 18th, apparently, so hopefully we'll get some reviews in, uh, maybe for May... We'll know if it's actually a good thing or not. But the way that the reviews were about the uh, the Dart XL, we're going to have to really be careful about this. Um, I'm basically going to listen to Matt, and that'll be about it. I'm not sure if Matt says he's going to get one or not. I didn't double-check that. But it's a Talon, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't. And also, of course, we have no idea on price. Um, but yeah, Nano Talon was not my thing. Um, I think I've made a decision while thinking about it for this video that I'm going to scrap it. 
whenever I see the box for it again, wherever it, wherever it went. Um, and yeah, just mm, yeah, I wouldn't buy a Nano Talon. This new Talon that they're making, or whatever it's going to be called, depends what's said about it. I may do um, because it'd be cool to have a mini Talon with Air Five Forty One in, and then maybe this. Uh, whatever the hell talent this is going to be from Zoe HD with I know him um, especially if this one is a comparable price to the regular talent because the regular talent kit can we get for about 50 quid um, and to be fair by the time you've put two MG90S servos which is what I use in mine um, the 15 I think it's now 20 quid actually Sunny Sky Motor uh, 15 pound speed controller um, then you're about there you know like like 100 pounds maybe to get it flying in a plug and play f format so if they're going to charge like 120 like what they did for the Dart XL then I'm going to go mm, yeah. M maybe people will like it because you could take the this new talent apart but I have no idea. But anyway, um, so this was a quick update on my Nano Talon and uh, a, a very, very quick talk about this new Talon from ZoHD. And uh, yes, as I say, hopefully next Friday you'll actually have an on the bench video um, and they'll continue for maybe a month's worth, four or five videos worth because we've got stuff to talk about. But uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, Thank you for watching. This was a little bit rambly, but it's podcasting stuff, so yeah, why not? But alright, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.